Okay. Um, I'm going to go over what I found to be the easiest and cheapest way to make a timer for your uh, grow lights. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I use the uh, the vertical solar angle. I'm going to be using a a dial, and then we're also going to be using a few uh, a few chips, just three chips. So let's go ahead and uh, let's look at. Let's see, where is it at? Let's look at the vertical solar angle of Europa. Around 90 degrees to 148, back down to 90 degrees is 10 minutes of night. From 90 degrees to 34 degrees, back up to 90 degrees is 10 minutes of day. So what I did was I took the comparer and said anything above 122 is greater than 122, turn on. If it's less than 122, then turn off. So from here to here on a ROPA is five to six minutes. If I wanted more time, I could just set it up to, you know, 100 on my dial. 100 would be over here as well. And then if it's greater than 100, it's uh, turn on. That's approximately, you know, 78 minutes, let's say. Um, So I could dial that in just by raising and lowering the dial, and it just checks the. It's my dog playing with the toy. Um, that just turns off and on the grow lights. If I lived in a base that had um, no light at all coming in on it, I, I could actually set it down here. Let's say I'm going to put that at 50. Just, um, so 50 and 50, if it's greater than 50, have it on. If it's less than 50, turn it off. And so now my time on would be from here to here. So from here all the way back to here, and then let's just say that's 15 minutes. So I can have it on for 15 minutes, have it off for um, five minutes. All right, so this is how um, we set it up. I, got, I have my read set up for reading the daylight sensor. I'm reading the vertical of it, which right now is at 38. Then I'm going to compare the daylight sensor angle. If it's greater than my dial, turn it on. All right, make it a one. Then I'm going to write to all my uh, grow lights the output. Um, I'm sorry, the input's going to be the compare. The output is going to be grow light. And just turn it on. So here's the dial for it. I got mine set up for um, 122. So when the angle is greater than 122, turn on the lights. If it's less than 122, turn them off. Um, I could show that just by my lights are off in there. I could show that by uh, decreasing this below what the solar angle is right now. Do it a little faster. And my light to turn on. If I increase it, they were turned off. So 
122 works the best on Europa for me. But the plants, this is my test bed. You can see they're they're doing okay. Let me get this right here. They're they're doing okay. And if I look at them with this, light efficiency is 99. Um, let me take out this card because sometimes it messes up. Okay. Um, light stress is 1%. So it does a really good job of, and I could dial it in, giving more light or less light. And what I do also is I plant different plants and keep the same timing to the plants get used to the darkness that I have set for all of them. And it works out okay. I've set the, the most efficient way to grow like tomatoes or or rice or other type of uh, plants that we have. But it works out good enough where I can grow quickly and give them the darkness they need. If you have any other questions how I uh, set up my base and uh, the automation, and it's very simple. Um, uh, the the deep, uh, deep miner or my gases or the backup power supply. Um, let me know in the comments and I'll make a quick video on that. Appreciate it. This is Vortex Toast. Out.